How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a graph in After Effects that looks like it's actually being drawn on the screen. What you are seeing now is what the finished product will look like and we are using this graph to model our animation by. Let's jump into Photoshop and start out by tracing the lines of the graph. So today we are only going to be working with the blue line on this graph and if we are going to be animating a graph that we already have a picture for, we really can do it in two different ways. The first way and probably the easiest would be just to take our quick selection tool and just zoom in and start selecting all of the blue line on this graph. And now I'm going to fast forward through this until I'm done. So once you have your entire line traced out with the quick selection tool, all you would need to do is right click and then go into layer via copy, hide the first layer, and this is how it would look. I think this is the best way you can do it. Uh, there is another way you can do it. And also, if uh, you might have messed up, like down here there's a little bit of orange, you can just use the eraser tool to clean it up, but I'll leave that out for now. Uh, so what we could do is just go into our pen tool, zoom in to the very start, and literally just trace out the line one by one. And I'm gonna zoom or fast forward past this and we'll see you in a second. So once you have traced out your entire line with the pen tool, uh, we would go into create a new layer, make sure that layer is selected, right click, stroke path, make sure so we can do it two different ways we can do it the brush or the pencil i think the pencil definitely looks better than the brush but i'll show you what the brush looks like anyways uh, make sure that simulate pressure is not selected when you have the brush and as you can see it is really thick it's not doesn't look too great and i just don't think that's the best way to do it so we could do it again go to uh, stroke path go to pencil and you can have the simulate pressure on for this one and we'll hide this layer so you can see hide our path and as you can see it does look pretty good but i still think the best overall way to do it would be to use the quick selection tool as you can see it looks much better so after this we'll jump right into after effects and start animating okay guys so once we have moved into after effects first thing we're going to do is make a new composition of a 1280 by 720 and we're going to make sure the background color is white so first thing we're going to do is file import and we're going to import the graph that we traced out in Photoshop. And why don't we just drag that in now to have it in our composition and we're going to make sure no layers are selected. Select our rectangle tool. And we want to make sure we leave room at the right side for the percentages, the bottom for the years and the top for the title. So we'll make it just about that size. We could always adjust it later on and we're going to name this just frame we're going to go into the rectangle go into stroke make it black we're going to make an eight stroke width and we can do round cap and round join and now we can just close that up so first thing we want to do is select our pen tool we can zoom into the bottom here select the point zoom into the top and all you gotta do is hold down shift and it'll make an automatic straight line for you. So now we can just put this into the middle of our frame here and we can rename this vertical for vertical lines. Open up our vertical line, open up the shape, open up the stroke, make it black once again. And we're gonna make the stroke width three. And then we're gonna add dashes to make it look like a grid. We're going to open up add and add the repeater effect. So now there are five vertical lines on our actual graph. So we're going to go into the repeater and we're going to make five copies and we're going to go into our transform of our repeater and we're going to move the X position over just about to where it actually looks on the graph. So probably roughly there. We can just, we can always adjust this later on. So that'll be good for now. And now we're going to do the vertical line again, again, make sure no layers are selected, select your pen tool, zoom in to the top left and we'll go just about here. Once again, we could adjust this later on, zoom into the other side. And once again, hold down shift, 
and that will make a straight line for you. So now we're gonna hit, press uh, enter, name this horizontal for horizontal lines. Open it up, go to content, shape, stroke, make it black. And we're gonna go with a stroke width of three. And once again, press dashes, and we're gonna add the repeater effect once again. Open the repeater, and there are seven horizontal lines, so we're gonna make seven copies. Open up the transform of the repeater, and we're gonna move that Y position down just to about where it looks like it, it should be on the actual graph. Then we're gonna move the X position over, line it up perfectly with the frame, Maybe even push the Y down even a little bit more. Maybe like right about there. And now we can close this up. And so lastly, we are gonna start animating the frame in and then we're gonna animate the horizontal and the vertical lines in. So we're gonna press our frame. We're gonna press T for opacity. Make sure it's at zero seconds. We're gonna set a keyframe right here and we're gonna go to zero percent. We'll go just to one second, so it'll be a quick animation. And go all the way to 100%. You can stay at one, per, uh, one second, and then we can uh, select our horizontal line and then select our vertical line as well by holding down Shift. We can press T for opacity once again. And we're gonna set a keyframe uh, just right here at one second. Oh, I misselected them, so I'll reselect them again. Uh, go to 0% for these and then we'll go to two seconds and you want to make sure the horizontal and the vertical lines are not a hundred percent because it just kind of looks weird with uh everything being a hundred percent so we'll go to 20 percent for these lines and it gives you that nice grid effect and then next we are going to go into the text of the years the percentages on the right and the title on the top so now to do each of our text layers for the years, percentages, and title at the top, we're going to make sure no other layer is selected, and we're going to use our typing tool located at the top of the screen for each one individually. I'm going to fast forward through this and then position each layer individually to line up with the horizontal and vertical axes. So now that we have all of our text layers in and lined up for our axes, we're going to simply select the top text layer, hold down shift, and then select our bottom text layer. We're going to press T to open up opacity, and we're going to set a keyframe right here at 3 seconds. We're going to make it to 0%. We're going to move to 4 seconds. And zoom in to make sure you actually have it correctly at 4 seconds. And we're going to set this now to 100%. So now we have our frame our grid, and all of our text animating in at different times. And I think that looks really good. So now we have to actually line up correctly our graph line. So I'm gonna just extend it just slightly and to just where it's touching the black lines. And obviously you wanna make sure your vertical axes and your horizontal axes are lined up perfectly. Honestly, I believe mine are just about perfect. I might need to extend it just like a smidge, just about there. But yeah, if, you, if yours is off a little bit, you could always adjust yours with the horizontal and vertical lines, but I believe mine is about good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. So now we wanna make sure we have no other layers selected, so I'm just gonna lock in, unlock that. And I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle just about the same size as our frame. Obviously you want the fill on, make sure it's white as the same color as your background. We're going to close this up and we're going to rename it hidden for hidden layer. We are now going to drag it to the bottom of our composition, just right above the graph line. And so now once we have everything animating in, so everything animates in just at four seconds. So we're gonna start moving the line, or we're gonna start moving the hidden layer at four seconds. So we're gonna press P for position, and we are gonna set a keyframe at four seconds. And it depends on how long you want the animation to be. Uh, we're gonna do 10 seconds. So I'm gonna drag it all the way down to 14 seconds. And now I'm just gonna take my X position and drag it all the way across the screen. And just like that, you should have your animation, and we'll watch it now.
So that is how you make this simple graph animation, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Most people don't do graphs like this. I was uh, making a video for another project we were working on and had a random idea to make this creative graph. I hope this was a learning experience for you guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more After Effects videos. And if you are interested, you can join our Discord in the description and become a patron for our channel. Thanks, guys.